Hey guys, we got a 2007 Honda Odyssey that we're going to change the harmonic balancer pulley, also maybe called the crankshaft pulley, and it's right on the passenger side, uh, under here, right there. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is take off our wheel well plastic here. Um, you probably have a, a clip here, there might be one under here, depending on, uh, mine's a little torn up, then you're probably going to look along the sides here um, and just take out uh, like these clips. Um, I will link in the description a kit um, that helps take those out without destroying your plastic. Um, and let's get started. The things you're going to need is a new pulley. I'll link this in the description. We got a special tool here that helps us hold the pulley um, while we break the nut on it um, and this kit comes with this tool as well as a socket for so I will link that as well um, the other thing you're gonna need is a um, if you don't buy this set that has I think this goes in there so that you don't need a socket but if you don't buy that and you just have this special tool then you're gonna need a 19 uh, metric socket and um, two ratchets I have a breaker bar in my ratchet which I think is gonna work um, and probably some PB blaster couldn't hurt and those should be the only things you need except for maybe a jack to just get yourself a little more space All right so my uh, wheel well clips are not very good because they are kind of a band-aid so mine just pull right out you're probably gonna need a special kit that I will link in the description but I'm just going to pull mine out by hand maybe uh So I have my clips all out back to about here, so I can just pull this back and kind of like this behind the tire. You might want to take yours all the way out if yours is in good condition. Mine is not, so I'm not too worried about it. But that gives us a lot of space to get down to our pulley. Uh, we're going to spray our nut here with PB Blaster just to start letting it soak. And hopefully that soaks in and makes it a little easier to break. All right, we're going to take our belt off to get out our pulley easier. I'm going to try to show you where the dummy bolts are to take the tension off the belt. Um, I think we're going to have to look from the bottom because I'm having a hard time seeing them from here. I can feel them with my hand. Let's see if I can get my finger on it for you guys. So you can kind of get a general idea of where it's at. Let's see. Um... So the dummy bolt is, okay, there's one right there. It's right here. So you got your tensioner pulleys right here, and there's one right here, and there's also one on the bottom that I'm going to try to show you from the bottom. From the bottom, you can see the dummy bolt a lot better. So here's our, your tensioner. There's the dummy bolt right here. So if you push it this way, it's going to take tension off the belt. And uh, one secret to getting these belts off a little easier is when you get the tension off the belt, um, pull it off the smooth pulleys like this instead of the grooved pulleys because those are going to have ridges that makes it a little harder. These, it just makes it so that you can just slide the belt right off real easy. It also makes it easier to get in there is to just slide your power steering pump and it gives your hand a little more space to come in at the right angle to get that socket on. And then we're just going to get our breaker bar or long ratchet and um, come right through here. So I got my ratchet on there and I'm using a little cheater pipe here because that makes it a lot easier. And then you can do it with one person potentially if you're strong enough. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, I'm just going to, you're going to push your cheater pipe this way and then use your other hand to just slide the belt off that pulley or if you get enough you can slide it off this top pulley but this one's grooved and it's a little harder to you got to get more tension off the belt to get it off there There we go, we got our belt off. Next thing we're gonna do is jack this up a little bit so we have a little more space um, for a, our breaker bar.
We're gonna put our special socket on it. And if you can't get in here, you might wanna take this tire off. I think I'm gonna be able to get it without taking it off, so we're gonna try. Uh, this is a half inch drive and stick it in there. There we go. And now when we turn this, it should hit uh, over here. It's going to hit that so that we don't have to hold it, hopefully, so we can put all of our strength into breaking that nut. So then we're going to put our other socket that came in our set. Then we're going to put about a six inch extender on here uh, to try to get ourselves a little bit out away from this stuff so we have a little more room to use our breaker bar. Alright, then we're going to try to get our breaker bar on this side and we're going to pull it towards the front of the vehicle to try to break this. Is it moving? This ratchet's wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Ours off, and uh, once I got the bolt out, um, I was banging on it with a hammer until I could get some micro adjustments and then I just pulled side to side like this side this side this side this side as I was getting movements I just kind of shook it back and forth and it finally slid off All right, here's our new one versus our old one and as you can see this one was separating and could have potentially fell off on the road so happy we noticed it before that happened and this one is one solid piece doesn't really have much of a lip at all uh, and so let's get a new one on here the thing you can see in here is that mine was rubbing that groove right there around and uh, damaging the side of the engine so it's another good reason to check this and try to get it before it breaks so that you're not doing damage here right now you just want to line up this little mark with your pulley here and push this back on And again, just work side to side. There we go. And then we're going to get our bolt back in. Where's the bolt? Alright, and mine's starting to get a little strip, but I don't have a different one. So, if you have time to replace it, then it might not be a bad idea. I do not have time, so I'm just going to use my old one. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have more videos you want to see, comment below. And stay independent out there.